Hello and welcome to a special episode of Insert Coin. I'm Tim. I'm Owen. And we're still playing Fighting Force. What the hell is that? Is that, that is a alien stealth, ship? That's a stealth fighter jet, I think. It looks nothing like a stealth fighter jet. It looks more like a, a coaster. Coast. It looks like a big triangle, let's be it's honest. It's a big triangle, yeah. Right, so we're now... Are we actually on that ship? Can we swim far away? I don't know. It doesn't I think, really yeah, make clear. I, I think we did get on it, I guess. But Crusher got on it as well. And so did Sandy. Are these, are these the guys from the fort? They've just changed clothes? It may be. And potentially Grace. Do you know what? I saw a brilliant uh, thing on YouTube a while back. It was um, point out a continuity error. Oh, yeah. There's a continuity error in Terminator. Where Arnold Schwarzenegger grabs a oh, in the that hospital, was brutal. yeah, uh, and throws him into a window, and as he throws him into the window, he changes race. <laughs> yeah, he, he, uh, he's in a hospital or something. There's a guy in scrubs, yeah. and he picks up this guy in scrubs and throws him at the wall. When he picks him up, there's a white guy, and then when he throws him against the wall, it's a black guy. Oh. Well, Surely unlike we you, I that. don't see colour. Yeah, but it's a continuity error, isn't it? Well, I think in this day and age, if a black guy wants to be the stunt actor for a white guy, there's no problem with that. Yes, there is! Oh. Oh. That. Oh. That's like having uh, a table in a scene with a white mug on it, and oh. then in the next camera shot, there's a black mug on the table. Are you saying that the black mug is somehow inferior to the white mug? I'm just saying it needs to be consistent. Well, I mean, you say that, but then okay, you're just there's a out blue differences. mug on the table, and then in oh, the next don't shot, bring the blue man group into this. <laughs> there's an orange mug afterwards. See, I that's feel just... very strongly for the plights of blues and oranges, so I just can't I agree with you at all. Political correctness me in the place. Political correctness gone mad. Oh no, no, not at all. Right, let's get rid of Slasher. He's obviously a uh, violent man. And I'm punching Masher, who's obviously his brother and or an infant. They're walking very casually around. Oh, nice elbow. Get in the way. Does this mean these guys got a little more health? Yeah. I have a lot less health now after that. Oh, it's sneaky again. He just doesn't know when to quit. So I'm going to see if I can destroy his box. Uh oh. Well, they managed to survive when we sent some guys in on hover bikes before, and then we sent some guys in from this door. Let's do it again. Oh, full health. See, that's the difference between a health pack and a full sandwich. Misery. I don't even oh, know about my press with the big ground pound turk. So I say again, you don't actually know how you do it. No, I just occasionally, just occasionally do it. Well, my that. super spin kick is X and circle at the same time. All right. Wow, that was the most impressive move. Oh my god! Yeah. She's so there. Was a double team there. She threw me into your ground pound area. Is it circle and X at the same time? It is. There you go. I learned something today. And by today, I mean the same day as the other videos. I'm just trying to... Oh, I just can do a jumping kick. I'll just try different combinations of buttons to see if I can find the other moves. If I press circle and square at the same time, I go, wah! A little jump kick. Wah! See, there is a reason to jump. Jumpy kicks. They look like jumpy kicks. How about that? Can you do a jumpy kick? I did a jumpy kick. Just now, look, ready? Yeah, oh, more of a jumpy kick. You kind of just jump directly forward, don't you? Oh, yeah. more hover things? I mean, these guys have got quite a big budget for all these things. Where do they go? Look, they're flying forwards. They're jumping off of them. Oh, there's another guy on there that flies away. I thought they were just like, flying into the wall. Okay, they're scary. completely intangible. We can just run right through them without damage. Right, let's do my super kick. Kills him. Just took some damage off me there. I'm trying to punch this green box. I hope you don't mind. Yeah, I think there'd probably be some full on life. Oh, I can't actually get close enough to him. Let me run towards him. I need some help as well, actually. Yeah, yeah so do I. Thanks. Ah, yeah, four sandwich, four sandwich, four sandwich. Four sandwich. Get, uh, is it four sandwich? Yes, it's yeah. four sandwich. Four sandwich? Yay! Ah, uh, good old four sandwiches. It's strange. Like, a lot of games have like food on the floor that you pick up in. And you often get um, chicken in Rage. Ah, yes. And in Tekken Force mode, Tekken 3, there's chicken on the floor. Well, I mean, remember that? Where else would it be? Chicken. What? <laughs> do you not remember that? I you do were not. playing Force mode, Tekken 3, and there'd be I chicken on the floor. Here. And you'd pick it up, and the voiceover's going, Chicken. 
Tekken 4 stuff is pretty good. Like the one in Tekken 3 was fantastic. Like, okay, they're Devil Within in Tekken 5. I'm gonna admit something. No, no, sorry, I Devil. only ever owned Tekken Tag. Did you know Tekken Tag was like the worst one? Yeah, I know, but I owned it and I learned all of Eddie Gordo's moves. Of course I know, by the way. Have you played the... Oh, there's a full health pack over here. Have you played the Force Mode in Tekken 6? No. That's actually quite well thought out. It's like this, really, but like a modern version of it. Oh, right. It's actually really good, but the thing is, because it's Tekken, you've got all of your character's moves. Yeah. So rather than just like having a punch and a kick button, you can do any of the moves you were doing game. Yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, I learned it all off the of the Eddie moves, including the really difficult combo, which takes way too long to wind up. You can't actually use it in a proper game. Because they die before you finish the combo. Yeah, it basically takes them back on that health. Yeah. I did, did learn a few of the. Got um, to hold back for three seconds and then spin it around and then press several buttons whilst you're running. See, I did learn um, a couple of the King's chain throws. The thing is, the chain throws take off the same sort of amount of damage. Yeah. So it's really pointless learning like three different chain throws and having to memorise them. Well, you could really just learn one. Yeah. If you learn one chain throw, then you know how to do it, and then you just do that one over, over and over, so I ended up just sticking with the one. And, uh, yeah, I think I could probably still do it now, I do it so often, I get it drilled into me. Raw sandwich, oh, you can have, uh, we're, we're both actually quite healthy at the moment. Oh, I'm hungry. Oh, he's flashing away. So, is there anyone flying this plane? There's no one in the cockpit. There's an autopilot. We killed everyone as well. Anyway, thanks for watching this special episode of Insert Coin. We'll see you next time. <laughs>